2016, OSIT are continuing to grow and innovate. As well as developing the upcoming OSIT MX10 and 24, we decided to design and build a petrol bike project for Oliver to ride in national, European and some world competitions in 2016. The PR1 uses a 2014 Sherco 125 engine with a chassis designed and built entirely in-house at OSIT UK. The Santagosa three-day trial in northern Spain has been going on for 45 years and in recent years has developed a close relationship with the Scottish Six Days trial. Many riders from the UK make the annual pilgrimage with about 25 of the 215 entry making the trip over. The trial is essentially a three-day event for good level club riders with 31 sections and a 40 km course each day. Top level riders always attend, with some riders coming for a single day after riding the Marseille Indoor Trial. On day one, the section started on the easier side, with each day becoming a little bit harder.
Of the 31 sections each day, four or five will be world standard, with most of the entry taking fives. At the end of each day is a graded hill climb, followed by an arena section in town.
poli de la categoria juvenil. Especial de Sant Igosa 2016, Oliver Smith. The weekend after Santagosa was the opening round of the European Championship in Northern Italy, taking place at a great motor park nestled in the beautiful Dolomite Mountains that is also used for world level motocross and enduro. Friday was sign-in, official practice and section inspection. For the event, riders were not allowed back into the sections for another look. Saturday was the youth and women's event. Highest line was the youth champ class. Next, the Youth International and the Women's Champ class shared a line. Then there was another line for the Women's International class. Peace had a terrible start and left himself a lot to do after this five. This section only saw a few cleans with eventual winner Lorenzo Gandola looking good. Billy Green fought for a three and Oliver Smith a nice two.
Sunday, the adults rode on two main lines. In the champ class, Mikel Gelibert looked a step above the rest, winning comfortably from Francesc Moray. Dan Peace was best of the Brits in fourth, with Ewan Roberts fifth and Deck Bullock in seventh.
The Yorkshire round of the 2016 ACU Osset British Youth Trials Championship was hosted by Bradford District Motor Club and located high up in Howden Wood, Silsden, overlooking the picturesque Air Valley. 80 riders from the four corners of the United Kingdom gathered to compete over 36 challenging sections. Club official Ron Eddings has some important words to say at the start of the trial. On behalf of Bradley District Motor Club, ACU and Osset, welcome to the first round of the British Championship. Before we go any farther, as most of you have read the newspapers this week, uh, one of the top men of Yorkshire, one of the top trials riders, uh, passed away last weekend. I'd like to just have a minute, please, a round of applause for Martin Lampkin. And so it's down to the start where 26 B-class, 29 C-class and 25 D-class riders would set off at one minute intervals. The field includes both petrol powered and electric motorcycles. 21 of the 23 riders in the D-class event are on Osset bikes. Osset is the world leader in the design and manufacture of electric motorcycles. Recognised globally as providing the best learner bikes for children as young as two, Osset continue to help grow the sport of trials. Eventual winner in the D-Class medium wheel category, Miles Hutchinson, gets off to a steady start on his Osset 24. Catching the eye with some impressive riding, Fraser right. Lampkin was unfortunate to just miss out on a podium finish in his first national round. Turning, 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 back and drop. Yes, turn, go on. Keep it on, keep it on. Keep it on. Good lad. Go on, go on. Elliot Smith steers his Osset to another clean ride.
slippery conditions provided a stern test, especially for the small wheel bikes, where occasionally a helping hand was required. Some of the bigger lads can make it look easy. Jamie Galloway had a good day on his beater, beaten only by Jack Dance. Also in the hunt for a top three finish in the C-Class Standard Wheel category, Holly Smith. B-Class runner-up Daniel Slack shows he has all the skill and technique to reach the top spot in rounds to come. Class small wheel winner Toby Shaw had an amazing first lap, just seven marks dropped. On his first outing in the C Class medium wheel category, Dominic Horn coped superbly with the tough course. Title contender George Hemingway, smiling as always, despite dropping a few loose tabs that would cause him to narrowly miss out on the top spot. <laughs> Oliver Smith on the prototype Osset PR1 showed moments of brilliance, but could only manage third on the day. Contested C Class medium wheel category saw Harry Hemingway come out on top. Harry Turner finished second, Dominic Horn third.
happy with that. Oliver Smith was on course for the best lap of the day, having dropped just three marks on his final lap until this unfortunate five, late on in section 11, spoiled his card and dropped him into third place. B-class winner Billy Green shows great throttle control and real flair and will take some beating in this year's championship. The day was rounded off with flowing champagne. The riders now eagerly await round two in what's sure to be a fabulous championship. <laughs> 